welcome back to my crafting corner um today is finally going to be an update video on all of my uh current cross stitch projects um i had posted my um first video that had every project that i have um going uh and that was almost two months ago so it was definitely time for a um, another video. Um, today I'm not going to be showing every project that I have, just the ones that I've been working on over the last two months. Uh, there are a few new starts. Um, and if you see me looking over here, I have a um, notebook that has uh, some some notes on there as to all the stats and everything of my projects like um, How how much progress I actually got done in these last couple months um, So yeah Without further ado, I think we'll get started. So the first one that I've been working on a lot is a stamped cross stitch piece that I got for Christmas from my aunt. And this is what it will look like. Very pretty. Um, definitely lots of oranges and yellow, um, specifically at the top, which is where I'm working at. And it is kind of hard to tell what has actually been worked on um, because it is a stamped kit. So I have been working on this whole top corner up here, um, the orange and then the yellow. And then right in here, this yellow here, um, I worked on. And then there's like two different reds that start the petals that I have been working on. Yeah. And it's not very big. It's, this is an 11 by 11 uh, Q-snap and it's just a little bit further that way. And then not much at all in that way. Um, I'm actually really enjoying this. Um, stamped piece and it um, this along with a um, another flossy video that I saw um, inspired me to order a couple other stamped cross stitch pieces so those should be coming shortly and then I will post an unboxing video with those so there's that one um, I don't have any stats on that one as far as like how much I've gotten done because it is a, a stamped piece um, so it's, it's just looking at the, the progress and eventually seeing how far I get. Uh, let's see, the next one. This next one was, um, inspired to be started, well, one of them, um, was inspired by uh, Suki, the brand eyes stitcher, uh, here on uh, YouTube and on Instagram as well. She had started uh, Lord of the Rings pattern. She did Rivendell for her birthday as a start, and then just recently started um, the Map of Middle Earth. She's doing hers on 40 count, one over one ten stitch. I wish I was doing that one, uh, that size. Because I am also doing the map of Middle Earth. Because I finally watched the movies for the first time. Fell down a rabbit hole and have been obsessed with Lord of the Rings. Everything. Um, mine is way big. <laughs> I'm doing it on 18 count. Four over one ten stitch. Which I kind of wish I would have done three over one. Um, just because the four is a... Uh, little bulky and it can be difficult to pull the needle through sometimes but that is what I've got so far it's mainly just bordering um haven't gotten into the actual like map yet this piece of fabric um with I believe I did two inch margins on all the sides is uh 40 inches by 30 inches so this piece is going to be huge huge but yeah so that is all that I got done 
last time I showed it, I had done 2,694 stitches and I was at 0.9%, so I was so close to 1%. And now I am at 5,344 stitches complete or 1.80%. So I am almost close to 2% now, so I'm super excited about that. Um, hoping that soon I can pick it back up and get get it to the 2%. Um, let me see, the next one. Let me pull up the mock-up for it. This next one was um, a uh, stitch along with Suki the Brown Eyed Stitcher and Alara and a few other people that had started it. This uh, is Canopy Heart by Dakota Detweiler. Um, it's charted by Heaven and Earth Designs but is currently discontinued. Um, it's all black and grays. Um, but it's super beautiful. Let's see. Last time I was at 21,988 stitches for 7.33%, and now I'm at 22,811 stitches for 7.61%. So I did almost 1,000 stitches, if I can count correctly. <laughs> So I had just filled in this little section right here and then started working the black right here. I just wanted something a little um, like quick and easy and didn't really have to think about it. And this one has so much black, I was like, I, I can do this and not have to really think about it too much. N not having to switch colors or anything, so that was really nice. But then here is the pro uh, the full project so far. I'm really gonna love seeing this one grow eventually. It'll get there. Be careful, this one still has a needle attached to it. Don't want to lose it. All right. Next one. Next one is my Kingdom Hearts piece. I love this one, and this one has the most progress on it. Um, it is the full coverage that has the least amount of stitches. So I think it only has about just over 41,000 stitches. So um, it is my smallest full coverage, um, but I am doing it two over one um, full cross on 18 count, and this is one of my only full cross um, patterns. Um, the map of Middle Earth was on 18 count, four over one ton stitch. And then Canopy Heart is 28 count, 2 over 1, 10 stitch. So this is where I'm at now. Um, I've been filling in this blue up here in a diagonal. And then I started filling in right here. And then I think I did a little bit of his hair as well. So this one... Last time I had shown it, it was at 12,034 stitches, and it was just under 30%. It was at 29.07%. Now it's at 14,184 stitches, 34.26%. Uh, so uh, a little over 2,000 stitches done. And I'm really loving it. Like This is as far as the piece goes right here. And then... It's just a little bit longer than this, and this is an 11 by 17 piece map. But it's looking really good. I'm really enjoying it. All right, next. 
was a new start. I, for some reason, decided I wanted to hop on the 40 count, uh, 1 over 1 10 stitch train with Suki. Didn't do the map of Middle Earth though because I had already started that one on the 18 count. So I decided that I wanted to do, let me pull up the mock up. This, is, this was a pattern that I had gotten off of Etsy. And it's Alice in Wonderland. I love Alice in Wonderland. Um, probably one of my favorite movies. Um, so that's the one that I chose to do. That's it. <laughs> that is mainly black with about 80 stitches of colors that aren't black, like a beige and a very light purple, I believe, but everything else is black. Um, had tried gritting ever so slightly, but my um, I used a friction pen and it's just a little too thick um, to grid properly, so I'm just having to very carefully count and count again and count again <laughs> to make sure that I don't mess up. Um, but like I said, this one was a new start and I have done 1,175 stitches so far, uh, for a total of 1.32%. So, and then of course, because it's Alice in Wonderland, I have to use my Drink Me needle minder. And then I just have a little mushroom because it just goes well. All right. Next one. This next one is, we're gonna say it's Alara's fault. She encouraged everybody to start this along with her. And we all got inspired because on the, um, I think it was just a full coverage cross stitch group on Facebook. Um, they had posted, um, somebody had posted a picture of their completed work and it was just gorgeous and it inspired so many people to start it so and this one is from Tilton Crafts but it is just beautiful it is one one ringed no it's one to rule them all but it is again Lord of the Rings and like I said Alara inspired everybody to start it with her and I didn't have any of the other colors um, for it. I did happen to have a piece of fabric that would have fit. Um, it's a 28 count, I'm doing two over one 10 stitch. So I'm just doing all the black that's up at the top. And this one has 1,667 stitches of black done so far. And that's a total of 2.07% complete. So I'm excited for when I'm able to get the other colors and start filling that in, but maybe later. But yeah, so that one, like I said, 28 count, two over one ten stitch. Um, and Alice in Wonderland um, is the 40 count, and I am doing it one over one ten stitch. All right, um, this next piece is very important and special to me. Um, I, I want to say I might have been scrolling through Instagram or something and had seen somebody post a progress picture and didn't realize that this was a kit available. It's a, um, it's a counted cross stitch kit that you can order. Um, I actually got mine off of eBay. Um, and as soon as I saw it, I was just... Like, I have to have it. Um, it is the Footprints in the Sand. This story has a lot of meaning to me. Um, and I, I have a tattoo um, of Footprints in the Sand on my upper back. And so, like I said, as soon as I saw it, I just, I needed to have it. So I ordered this off of eBay. 
and um, it came with the fabric and the floss. Um, came with a 28 count even weave. And so I started working on it. It is worked two over two full cross. And then some spots, I believe up at the very top are um, worked tent stitch. So we'll see, but as of right now, I'll just have the, the bottom corner done and it's it's looking like waves. <laughs> it's looking like the ocean all foamy and everything. This is the bottom left corner. But I love how this is turning out. It's just, it's just gorgeous. And I cannot wait to continue up because I think right around here, the first footprint starts. So. I'm, I'm super excited about that. But that one is a um, paper chart, so I don't have any um, stats for that one as far as like how many stitches I've done. Um, it's just, it's too much of a hassle to try to count every time I work on it. So um, we'll just go off of how much progress I have and how far I've actually gotten. Um, but yeah, like I said, I love that one. And then the very last um, piece that I've worked on is one that I've been working on for over a year now. This one is so gorgeous. Um, this is a stitch along from uh, Creatively Crafting. Yes, I believe that's, <laughs> I believe that's who it is. Um, it is... To zoom in. It is artwork by Mandy Manzano, licensed artwork, and it is her stained glass pieces. This is the mini version. There are 30 panels there. I'm doing all 30. Um, I am substituting a couple of them later on, um, but I'm going to be do doing 30 panels all on one piece of fabric. And this one has gotten a ton of progress since I showed it last. Um, because each panel is a separate pattern, I don't have the stats for each one right now. Um, but I did want to kind of show again uh, from last time. So this one is the only one that I have fully completed. It is Sleeping Beauty. So, so pretty. And then I have Meg from Hercules. Her black outline is completely done. Um, and then I started filling in the colors on the top. And then, oh, it's a huge piece. This is what it's looking like from afar. And then I'll zoom, uh, bring it closer. Oh, try to fold it up a little bit so it's easier to hold. All right, so when you last saw it, I had started working on the black outline of Ariel's hair. Ariel is completely finished and Maleficent is now completely finished. I just completed her um, just the other day. But they're both completely finished. All the black outlining is completely done. Um, Ariel has just a tiny bit of yellow in her hair done. And then... Next to them, we've got Ursula. Or it will be Ursula. Um, I just have a very small amount of black up there. And then this one is Belle. Um, I started... I believe she's surrounded by the um, the magic mirror the, um, the, that the Enchantress had given Beast um, in the image. And so it has the outlining of that up at the top. And then here's the top of her hair. Um, there's a little bun. And then here's the top of her hair. And then her face will be right around here. And then from there, I started doing 
the black outline around the whole piece. I got almost all the way down to the bottom and then we'll go all the way across and do every box because I can't count. And if I want to be able to work on a different panel, I don't want to have to try to count and mess up like I did with this one because this one is off by like one stitch. It is shifted over one stitch too far and I have to completely take it out and redo it. And this is like 1600 stitches. <laughs> so I'm a little sad about that. Um, but yeah, I've been working on this in a really large hoop at the moment. Um, I am really hoping uh, my birthday is in uh, just over a month. It's on June 7th. And I am really, really, really hoping um, to get a scroll frame for my birthday um, that is big enough to hold this piece so that I don't have to shift my frame wherever I want to stitch at and I can just look at the whole piece across and then if I want to move down to a different row I can just roll it up and it'll make things so much easier um so fingers crossed for that um so as far as like plans go um I really want to try to get uh, Belle's black outlining done, uh, this month, um, and I've been, uh, really enjoying working on the stamped cross stitch piece, but like I said, I am getting some new kits in, hopefully in the next few days, um, check the shipping, and it's in the United States now, because it is a, uh, a China company, so it is in the United States, so it should be here hopefully this week sometime. Um, so we'll definitely be starting those after I, uh, record an unboxing video. Um, so that'll probably take up a lot of my time. Um, I am going to be traveling at the end of this month. Um, I, uh, I'm in Southeast Michigan and, um, I have a wedding that I'm going to be going to, um, one day and then that um I believe it's on a Friday and then that weekend uh which is actually Memorial Day weekend uh we're going to be driving to um Illinois to visit some of my boyfriend's family so we'll be uh I will be taking a stamped kit with me so that uh if I have some downtime uh especially like at night or whatever I, I can uh, get some stitching done I really wish that I could do some stitching in the car, but um, I get motion sickness <laughs> badly. So um, that's not an option for me. So listening to music and talking and enjoying the sights, that's that's my extent of uh, that car ride, which will be interesting since it's about a five hour drive, I think, something like that. Um, so, uh, stamped kit then, uh, my princess panels, getting a lot of black outlining done. And the reason that I'm doing the black outlining is because it makes the counting a lot easier, um, filling in the colors. And also it kind of turns into like a coloring page because then I get to just fill in the colors in between the, the black. But, um, I realized I made a mistake buying a pre graded fabric because each panel is 82 stitches wide, so it doesn't end on one of the lines, it ends past it, so it throws off every single one after it. So the uh, grid lines don't match up, and I can't use them to count, oh, okay, I need to be this far away from this grid line and this far away from grid this grid line. It doesn't match up right. So if I at least have the black outlining done, I can uh, stitch off of that when I fill in the colors. So it makes it so much easier. So um, my plan is to finish uh, as much of Belle's uh, black outlining as I can and if I get that one done I'll probably move over to Ursula and um, hopefully get more of the um, the boxes done as well, like the box outlines. 
um, hoping to get the map of Middle Earth to 2% at least. Um, and yeah, I think, I think that's what I'm kind of set at at the moment um, as far as goals go. Um, don't want to kind of stretch myself too too, too far. Um, I know everybody's got a bunch of plans for Mania and everything, and I I'm not at the point at the moment where I can set myself up with that strict of um, stitching uh, rules. Um, I work on whatever I'm feeling at the moment. If I'm feeling on uh, like working on a princess uh, stained glass panel, I'll work on that. If I feel like working on the map of Middle Earth, I'll work on that. If I feel like working on a stamped piece, I'll do that. Like, it's just whatever I am feeling in that moment. It's not a, I have a goal to work on this many stitches this day. So I need to work on the map of Middle Earth on Monday and get this many stitches in at least. And I, my brain just cannot, I just can't. So I'm not, uh, participating really in mania um just trying to get as many stitches done as i can um like i do all the time um today well now it's after midnight i think it's like almost 3 a.m or something like that now um because my schedule is backwards and i sleep during the day and i'm up all night that would be thanks to my boyfriend's graveyard schedule i managed to get on his schedule somehow um but um, it is now third, so I stitched the first and the second, and I got um, over a thousand stitch stitches both days. Um, and they are all um, ten stitch, so it does go by a lot faster, and all of it but 80 stitches was in black. So um, went by really fast. Um, so yeah, just trying to get as many stitches in as I can because the more stitches that I'm able to get in, the more progress I get and the more motivation I have to continue because as I've been working on the princess panels and seeing the progress and seeing the, um, the image come to life and see like, oh, okay, her face is forming or um, on Maleficent, um, she's... Uh, it's her, and then in the middle is, um, I think it's a raven, um, on her staff. And so once I saw um, the raven's head starting to, to form, I was like, okay, I gotta keep going so I can finish the raven. And just stuff like that continues to motivate me to keep going and to um, keep working on it. Um, I had a little bit of a... Um, uh, block... I guess, um, working on the Kingdom Hearts pattern just because I'm not really at a point where there's any sort of, like, uh, significant, uh, area, like, a lot of it that's showing, so, like, a lot of it that's showing is blue background or his hair, like, if I jump down here, I can get into filling his face, um, up more and seeing progress on his face, but, um, it's a lot of light colors, and so, especially because I do a lot of my stitching at night, it is kind of difficult to see, and that also goes for his hair as well, and then I'm not exactly sure what's right here, I think it might be the start of the girl's hair and head and everything, um, but, the other reason why I haven't picked this one up as much and haven't been drawn to pick it up as much is because it is full cross and 10 stitch just goes by so much faster. Um, which is one of the reasons why with these new stamped kits that I'm going to be getting, um, I'm going to uh, try working on them 10 stitch. 
usually for um, 11 count uh, kits, they tell you to use three strands uh, full cross. So I'll probably do six strands, 10 stitch. Um, I got that um, idea from Boogie, Stitch Boogie Stitcher here on uh, YouTube. Uh, she does majority of her stamped kits, uh, six over one, 10 stitch. So I'm going to give that a try to see how it goes because even, even this kit, um, doing a full cross is, gets kind of, uh, tedious and takes longer. Um, but I am not comfortable with switching it to 10 stitch. Um, because I don't, I feel like there would be a huge difference, um, and it would be too noticeable. I know a lot of people switch their projects from full cross to 10 stitch or 10 stitch to full cross, and as long as you put the top leg the same way, it doesn't really matter, but, um, I, I don't know, like, um, the stitches, like, some of them lay a little differently so you can see a little bit more of the fabric through them so I'm just gonna keep this one full cross um, I tend to work on this one a lot when I am just needing a break from the black or um, when I don't feel like really thinking about it and just want to be able to stitch without trying to count or anything and I can just follow the colors on the kit um, because the, um, pattern is stamped on here and I don't have to sit there and count, okay, I need to go 10 stitches this way and it's just a lot easier on my brain sometimes. Um, so that's, that's the main times that I tend to pull that one out. Um, but yeah, so... I think that is pretty much everything. Um, like I said, um, those kits should be coming soon and I'm going to be filming an unboxing for those and I'll have more information about where I got them from and everything in that video. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, thank you so much for watching everybody. Um, don't forget to like and comment. I love reading your guys' comments on my videos, so um, really appreciate anyone who decides to, to watch. So um, like, comment, subscribe so that you can stay tuned for more videos, uh, like this unboxing that'll be coming up, and I'll hopefully update again uh, sooner than two months from now. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best. Um, but yeah. I just wanted to say thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!